most of the business books authors whom I adore and admire are posting on social media with severe Ukraine, pro-Ukraine bias and support. This makes me support uh, the question their ideology and authenticity now. Is this just to gain popularity or their whole identity? Is it flawed? Using their ideas has given me success in my career and yet I am here in a dilemma. Would you recommend anything there? <laughs> Very good question. I have a book here. This one here. This is the Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I am a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think he's a very in inspirational person. There's a, there's a great deal that you, any, anybody can learn from the life and career of Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's somebody I have admired for years. I had enjoyed watching his movies. And then I admired his career as a bodybuilder and the way he succeeded from no, from, from essentially from scratch, from zero. I admire Arnold Schwarzenegger for those traits. I don't admire his politics. I don't support his politics. And very recently, like in the last 48 hours, he put out this video on social media supporting Ukraine. And uh, it's an anti-Russia video and telling Russia to give up its terrible war and all that. Right. So I don't agree with what he says. But it doesn't make me dislike him dislike him now or hate him i still admire him i simply disagree with his political inclinations and his world view about whatever's happening in in europe in in ukraine now we have to understand that he is a us citizen now and there is a certain mood a certain atmosphere that prevails in the us and if you express a certain kind of opinion that is co contrary to the prevailing mood then you will be cancelled and people will stop, people, people will demonize you, people will start hating you. People may, I don't know, so there will be serious consequences. So that's why he does it. Or maybe he truly believe, believes in it. Either way, it doesn't diminish my admiration for Arnold Schwarzenegger, for what he has achieved in his life as an individual, right? Uh, there is another person I admire a lot, Dr. Edward Luthwak. I He was kind enough to come on a podcast and have a 70 plus minute interaction discussion with me about India and China. Very intelligent person. Great, great guy. Who, he has done so much in his life. I really admire his writings as a historian, as a strategist. He is the grandfather of geostrategy, the, the godfather or the grandmaster of geostrategy. Right? He was, he, he was born in Romania. He is now a US citizen. And if you look at uh, his uh, perspective on the on the Ukraine war, it is once again very much anti-Russia, very much pro-US and all that because he's a US citizen. It is his duty to support his country and all that. It doesn't make me, it doesn't diminish my admiration for Dr. Edward Luthwak any, any at all. Right. So the thing I'm trying to say is this. There must be many business books authors, etc., whom you admire, and you admire them for the ideas they have given you, the principles they have given you in those business books that you have been able to apply in your career. And maybe it has contributed to some extent to the growth of your career. It has given you success in, in your career. So that is something you need to keep, uh, that is something admirable. But just because those people have now expressed certain opinions doesn't mean you should stop admiring their business knowledge and whatever they, whatever work they've done. You can disagree with their political opinions, with their geopolitical opinions. You can disagree with them. It doesn't mean that they are no longer worthy of admiration for the work they have done in business and for the ideas they've given you. So I would say that you should take good ideas from wherever they come. If you get some good ideas from the Chinese Communist Party, take them. If you get some good ideas from Pakistan, take them. If you get a few good ideas from the US, take them. Use them. Implement them. Apply them. Take good ideas. Take wisdom. Take knowledge from wherever it comes. And you can even admire and respect your enemies. It doesn't mean you have to like them. It doesn't mean that you should have a soft spot for them. But you should certainly use whatever knowledge and whatever of value they can contribute to you. So that's what I would say. People have compulsions. You live in a certain country, you have to say certain things. If you live in the West right now, you have to put a Ukraine flag on your Twitter account, Facebook account. You have to say pro-Ukraine things and anti-Russia things. Otherwise, you're going to get cancelled. It's a very vicious culture they have in the West. They cancel people. Look at what they did to J.K. Rowling, the writer of the Harry Potter books. 
they have cancelled her because she said that women and men are different there is a biological gender is a biological thing it's not a social construct that's all she said and they cancelled her for that and the the actors and actresses who who played uh, who po- played the characters of her of her th- that she created they no longer talk to her apparently and they don't even invite her for the reunion of the movies and all that so that's the kind of vicious culture they have in the west so people no matter what their true feelings are they have to make certain public signaling and maybe they truly believe it it doesn't mean that you should not admire their work anymore you should still consume their content or whatever is of value and you should still utilize that in your career